Downtown Artery and the Aggie Theater present the Meeting on the Mountain live broadcast from the Downtown Artery in Fort Collins, Colorado. Featuring John Magny of the Subdue, Mason Town, Benny Galloway, and the Grant Farm House Band. Meeting on the Mountain is brought to you by Kind Care of Colorado, Batch 64 Premium Organic Cannabis Soil, Moe's Original Barbecue, Illegal Peaks, Summit Hard Cider, Soul Square Group, Swing Finger Studio, Cohere Bandwidth, Grant Central Records, and High Fee Tech. And now, here's your host, Tyler Grant. Evening, friends. Tell me, how's life on the mountain? Here we are, the Grant Farm Band. I've got a hard-headed woman with a heart of steel And she left me here all alone Now I wake up every morning with my head on fire Hoping that she'll come back home oh, Well, she knows what she wants, but brother, it ain't me You know she treats me like a bag of bones Still I pray to God that she don't go Cause I know when she goes, she's gone To you, baby, that I feel that way Is there anything left that I can try Before you say goodbye I want you to stay Well honey can't you see I'm down on my knees Just pleading like a castaway Hey don't be leaving When I need your loving I need you every night and day And I can't believe That you could be so mean As to treat your old man this way Hey tell me tell me What can I do To prove it to your mama That my heart is true The time has come Honey I ain't lying You're breaking my heart this Never 
did look so good as I watching you walk away. Hey, tell me, tell me, what can I do to prove it to your mama that my heart is true? The time has come, honey, I ain't lying. You're breaking my heart this time. Tell me, tell me what I have to say to prove it to you, baby, that I feel that way. Is there anything left that I can't try before you say goodbye? Thank you so much. That was a Grant Farm classic for my very first album. Now we're going to welcome our best songwriting compadre, and he's brought a compadre of his own with him. This is Benny Galloway, and we got Jordan Ramsey on the mandolin guesting with us tonight. Good evening, ladies and gents. Jordan is riding high on his, uh, on his current National Mandolin Championship achievement. He is your national mandolin champion. Lucky us, huh? He really does know what he's doing. <laughs> oh, yep, that's the button. Yep, perfect. Beautiful. Burl, is this the debut of this song? Has sorta. Yeah. Sorta, kinda. I thought it would be good. It's got the word mountain in it. It's... It's kind, of, it's kind of a lullaby kind of thing. It was, I was thinking about it the, coming and flying into the plane yesterday. and I said, well, it's, it's kind of like flying in a plane, you know, without the plane. So we'll work it that way today. It's called Lucky is the name of this tune. It's a little waltz. Yeah. And we'll have Mr. Tyler get right to it for us here. When there's nothing to think of and nothing to say Lucky you are drifting away If you think you could live your whole life in a day Lucky you're drifting away If it ain't much to look at and not much to hear Lucky you're drifting away You're just like the way that it sounds in your ear Lucky you are drifting away Drifting away And sets with a song Lucky you are drifting away Where the winters are short But the summers are long, yeah Lucky you are drifting away You trust what you must Of course it's hard to decide Lucky you're drifting away Close both your eyes and hang on for the ride. Lucky you're drifting away. Drifting away. Drifting away. Hold on so long. Yeah, you're drifting away.
somewhere in between Lucky you're drifting away In the wink of an eye Or on some slow moving train Lucky you're drifting away It's the wind off the mountain Neath the wing of a dove Lucky you are drifting away Are you lucky at all? Or maybe just lucky enough Enough and you're drifting away Drifting away Thank you, Uncle Burl, Benny Galloway. Been with us for 10 episodes now. Number 10. That's the 10th awesome Burl song that we've done here on the mountain. All right. Well, Adrian's got a new one we like singing. And we're going to do it. Build a road plan 
easiest thing to do attention to the interview table and welcome the legendary John Magny. How many of you all know this guy? <laughs> yeah, I mean... Yeehaw! John brought the soul to the mountain tonight. <laughs> so let's talk for a minute about... Uh, I'm curious about, you know, I've read some of the bios and there's a bunch of literature out there, but tell us in your words, where, where, where do you come from musically? How did you get started in this career? Yeah, well, musically, I guess I... I come from New Orleans because I adopted the town, but I'm really from here. Mm -hmm. uh, born in Abilene, I think we had a little connection there, Texas, but I grew up in Denver, and uh, when I was uh, studying piano, learning stuff, I just was attracted to the piano music of New Orleans, mm -hmm. uh, especially uh, Professor Longhair and uh, James Booker. So I moved down there in, in uh, 74, and uh, I really didn't even know if either of those guys were still long, and I was just had this lucky timing. Uh, Professor Longhair came out of uh, retirement. He had been like sweeping up a record shop for like 10 years. And this guy, James Booker, uh, came back from Europe. And uh, I got to know both of them, and uh, they, they were both uh, like 
showed me things on the piano, and wow. I got to study at the knees of uh, some masters. The knees of the professor. Yeah. Wow, amazing. Amazing. And then the Subdudes got started in New Orleans? Yeah. Mm -hmm. we, we had been playing together in different bands for probably about 10 years, and uh, we were playing in a, in a band. Uh, it was called Continental Drifters, and uh, we were, uh, like, really loud. <laughs> and, and my wife and, and one of the other, the, a girlfriend said, uh, told us, you know, you guys might, you might have good songs, but you're so loud we can't really tell. <laughs> so we uh, decided to do this gig in a subdued manner, you know, so everybody had to bring the least they could. So Steve, instead of a, a trap set, he brought a tambourine. And instead of all the, I had, you know, keyboard bank and stuff, and I just brought an accordion. Mm -hmm. And the other two guys actually just played acoustic guitar. But uh, it, it immediately did make those songs that we had sound better. Because huh. for one thing, we're doing a lot of harmonies. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so that we just became the subdudes. Huh. So it was and a subdued uh, setup a, yeah, that, uh -huh. that prompted the name. Yep. Wow. Killer. Really, really silly. You know? <laughs> <laughs> well, subdudes are legendary. Gosh, I think I saw you at Jazz Fest in New Orleans in 2000 or 2001, my big pilgrimage to Jazz Fest. And yeah. I wandered over to the subdued stage, and you all had this uh -huh. crew of people singing all the songs. <laughs> Everybody yeah. knows all your stuff. Everybody loves right. you. Uh -huh. Right. Uh-huh. And so it's right. gone well, then. Yeah, it has. You all still it get has. along? That's what, that was 87 yeah. that we, we uh, played our first gig uh, at a place called Tipitina's in New Orleans in March of 87. Wow. And by October of 87, we had moved up here. Okay. And you, you talked everyone into coming to Colorado. I did. I dragged them up here, and especially Fort Collins, because I had uh, spent one quarter at CSU and uh, <laughs> decided school was not for me, but I loved the town. Had a great, had a great time. <laughs> So when we, we, were going, we, we were trying to figure out where could we, we just had this feeling we had to actually get out of New Orleans with our original thing. Mm -hmm. And uh, I had just had the feeling we could come up here and play our original stuff and, and it would be accepted. And uh, we, it was great. It, we really, you know, it was Colorado's, a good move for us. Colorado's been really hooked on well. the subdudes yeah, ever since. Yeah. So let's talk about this. This is the latest subdudes album. Yeah. Four on the floor. We have... Uh, Broken up a couple, three times within our almost 30 years. <laughs> wow. And uh, so we got back together a couple years ago, and we've always done this thing at the end of the night where we, we just come out into the crowd and sing acoustically. And it, it's just something that people really like. You know, just the act of mm -hmm. abandoning the stage and coming out, they just love it. So we, we did a, a whole record of, of stuff in that style cool. uh, over at my house, which is like, Six blocks away. <laughs> We're all going over there for the after party jam. That's right. <laughs> Come on over. <laughs> cool. Well, uh, yeah. So y'all get this, and it's uh, thesubdudes.com, or is it subdudes music? Um, subdudes.com. Subdudes.com. Yeah. It's easy to find. It's a record called Four on the Floor. Four on the Floor. All right. <laughs> <laughs> well, congratulations on a, a long and illustrious music career, and here's to many more years ahead. Thank lots you of great much. music and looking forward to doing some songs with you tonight. All right, thanks, Tyler. And, I, uh, I got to say, this Grant Farm just uh, immediately took what I was putting out and, and fleshed it out and played it great. They're, they're aces. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Really, really good. We're deliberately trying not to be too loud. <laughs> well, uh, speaking of great bands, why don't we welcome Colorado's very own Mason Town? Yeah. Woo hoo! Never seen. Blow, 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 winds blow. Take me down to the Ohio. Blow, 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 winds blow. Got nowhere to be but a show guy. I'll hang it out on the no dry. 
my door where the sun never shone since Adam was born. Wash it out in the no dry well with never a drop of water fail. Blow, 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 winds blow. Take it down to the Ohio. Blow, 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 winds blow. I got nowhere to be but a short guy. inspired by a New Orleans type second line groove speaking of New Orleans and it's called the Cambridge shirt now we're gonna do an original Natalie's this one's called in this time maybe it could stay there <laughs> I think they're good. Just, just. takes three of us. That's right. <laughs> oh, you could have made a banjo joke right there, and you didn't. I think we did. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Uh, I'm in this time, I'm in this time, in this time. 
standing here with Eric from Mason Town. Woo! Natalie's coming around. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Welcome. Thanks so much for being on the mountain with us. Yeah, thanks for having us. Yeah, yeah. thank you. That was lovely. Thanks. Are these songs from your upcoming album? They are. It's, it's unreleased, but we do have the printed CDs with us, finally. So you can get it here at the merch table. Yes, only tonight. Only tonight. Only time. In this time. That's inappropriate. Uh, and then when will it be released to the public? <laughs> That's we haven't a good set question. an actual yeah. date, but I think oh. late summer, probably mm -hmm. mid-August, maybe September. And are you masontownmusic.com? Is that the website? Yes. We are. Very West good. Virginia beat us to masontown. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Um, well, tell us how the band got started. It's a few years in now. Yes. Yeah, so this is year. Is this year two? This Seems is two like years. it. Oh wow! Yeah. Yeah. Um, Young, fresh. I met Mike, the mandolin player, at a pick in Louisville. I met Bradley at another jam, and then Mike met Natalie late night at Midwinter one year. Mm -hmm. So it all kind of came together. Yeah. Cool. Midwinter brings a lot of people together around here, right? It I does. Mean, if you go to Midwinter, then you know all the Colorado <laughs> yeah. pickers, right? That's right. Yeah. Maybe that's why I don't get the calls, because I've never been to Midwinter. No. <laughs> <laughs> I went once. Uh, once. I'm just always too damn busy. Um, cool. And, and then this summer, are things picking up? Are things busy for you? Yeah, we've got a couple of really fun festivals we're excited about. Um, the Keystone Bluegrass and Beer Festival oh, yeah. is always really fun. We yeah. did that last year. Mm -hmm. um, and then Rapid Grass is always super fun. Has amazing people come That's out. coming right up, isn't it? Yeah. June? Just a few yeah. weeks away, right? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Summer's and just... Something know, in Utah. Right? What's hot. that one? Oh, Wasatch Mountain. <laughs> Wasatch Mountain uh -huh. Festival in Utah also. Yeah. Oh, cool. Um, <clears throat> have you been accepted like in the in the greater like bluegrass scene pretty well? Are these mostly kind of bluegrass festivals, or is it a little more of an eclectic mm -hmm. scene that you're getting into? I would say mostly the bluegrass bluegrass scene. Mm -hmm. But as you know, we get out there. I think it's it's more accessible. It's it's hard to to tell people what genre we play because I'm not I'm not so sure myself. But bluegrass <laughs> is the easiest thing to say. <laughs> well, th those of us who are bu bluegrass purists are the only ones who care. Right. right? The, the, con the consumers have a very loose definition of what is called bluegrass. We, we are still billed often as a bluegrass band. Wow. If you can believe that. <laughs> and I say, hey, whatever brings the hippies in. You know? Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> so, Natalie, tell us about the new uh, Bluegrass and Folk Music Studies program at uh, University of Northern Colorado. Well, it's starting up this fall of 2017, cool. so it's a brand new um, program that will be added to their existing music school that is, you know, acclaimed for, yeah, their jazz program's amazing, they have opera, they have strings, orchestra, um, and so they, you know, they thought, you know, there's, it's, it's a style of music that's really prevalent in this era, and you can become a musician um, in this style, so why not try to actually help help these people study it professionally. So that's great. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> and this is uh, this is this is a trend that's been kind of growing. I mean, nationwide. Yeah. Uh, there was there was your 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 kind of quintessential uh, flagship bluegrass programs like uh, University of North Texas mm -hmm. and In East Tennessee, East Tennessee State, where Jordan went. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, and, and here we are in Colorado, and you're, you're spearheading this whole new movement. That's awesome. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. I'm, yeah. I'm really excited to see Congratulations. Now, young people out there watching this, you can, in <laughs> fact, make a living at Bluegrass Music. <laughs> but you better learn how to write a good email. You better learn how to build a website. And you're going to learn all kinds of other things, too. <laughs> so they'll probably learn these in the other classes, right? Yes. Right. <laughs> they will. Well, you all are very savvy. You're really up. Your website's nice. You're, you're, you're up on your social media, and that's, that's a big part of this game, right, yeah, these days? Yeah, totally. Yeah. It never ends. Doesn't no. People think we're professional musicians, but we're like part-time musicians, and we're professional drivers, professional emailists, mm -hmm. and professional publicists, right? Yeah. It's kind of how it goes. <laughs> that sounds about right. <laughs> well, thanks so much for being here, and yeah. uh, we'll have a set for the audience here in-house uh, of Mason Town coming up. And uh, why don't you introduce John Magney for me, because i got to go to the stage. All right. Well, <laughs> next up is John Magney. And uh, joining him is the Grant Farm, it looks like. Right. <laughs> Thanks, man. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Well, I don't know what to believe About past or future life But I do believe In a love before first sight Cause my lover, when I saw you to give a shout out to Liz Barnes. That's right. Uh, it, Liz, are you watching? Uh, Hi, Liz, back home. Out there, yeah. She's out there watching at home, probably. Because uh, Liz was one of those that I dragged up from New Orleans uh, back there in 87. So she's always been part of the family, big part of the family. Yeah. And she's how we conne uh, got connected to you. She recommended uh, we get you on the show. Yeah, so yeah. thanks, all Liz. Right. All right. Thanks for giving us the best time we've had all month. <laughs> All right. All right, here's one. This is called uh, No Stop Signs. This is like, this is a brand new tune. These guys helped me make it come out. So here we go. Sad 
free I started driving up for the Dallas and all to Tennessee I'm just about to drive into the ocean when a message came over the screen Said, come back, baby, I need you now Need you here with me So I said, hey, no stop sign in the world Problem because my baby's in West LA. I turn around, but the car broke down up in Charlotte, VA. Yeah, baby said, now nah, don't you worry. If I have to hitch, I could take a hot air balloon. I'm gonna ain't no stop sign in the world. Time on the show when we do a little hoot nanny. We're gonna do a sing along. 
And it's going to be tonight, the Worried Man Blues. A couple of us are worried out there these days, but, you know, we're worried now, but we won't be worried long. That's the, the message of the song. This is for all those who are having a hard time out there. But it's going to be a happy song, and you all are going to sing it with us. It takes a worried man to sing a worried song. It takes a worried man to sing a worried song. It takes a worried man to sing a worried song. I'm a worried now, but I won't be worried long. That's how it goes. And while we're getting set up here, we'll take a moment to acknowledge all of our sponsors. First of all, how about it for the Downtown Artery hosting us? Give it up for Riley doing a great job on the sound. And uh, we're going to rattle off our sponsors real quick. We got Kind Care of Colorado. Uh, yes. That's our newest, latest, most exciting sponsor. And uh, Batch 64, Premium Organic Cannabis Soil. They've been with us from the very beginning. They've sponsored 10 episodes now. We got Moe's Original Barbecue here in town. We got Illegal Pete's, another brand new and exciting sponsor. We got a couple brewery sponsors. We got Soul Squared Brewing. They have a couple taps here at the Artery tonight. Check them out. And we have Summit Hard Cider as well. The finest local cider you can get. And uh, Grant Central Records. And Swing Fingers Studio, who is now mixing all these shows for the post-production. And of course, the gentleman doing all the filming, well, I should mention Cohere Bandwidth, who lets us use the green room. That's their rehearsal space. If you need a good rehearsal space, Cohere Bandwidth. And then, of course, the guys doing the filming and doing all the editing and the uh, live streaming, Hyphy Tech. And for those of you watching back home, uh, you know, shoot us a note, let us know how we did tonight. And we'll have the complete episode up in a couple weeks. Okay, here we go, Ian. Yep. All right, Worried Man Blues. Worried Man, one, two, three. <laughs> Shackles on my feet. It takes a worried man to sing a worried song. It takes a worried man to sing a worried song. It takes a worried man to sing a worried song. I'm a worried now, but I won't be worried long.
will be my fine. I ask the judge, will be my fine. I ask the judge, will be my fine. Said 21 years old in Rocky Mountain Line. Takes a worried man to sing a worried song. Takes a worried man to sing a worried song. Takes a worried man to sing a worried song. I'm a worried now, but I won't be worried long. Take a champ. If anyone should ask you now who composed this song If anyone should ask you who composed this song Well it was me and I sing it all day long It takes a worried man to sing a worried song It takes a worried man to sing a worried song It takes a worried man to sing a worried song I'm worried now but I won't be worried long Well, that sure is fun. And we're sure all grateful for y'all being here. We're grateful for all you watching at home. This is episode number 10. We're, we're in our third year, and we're cranking along, doing the best we can. And we couldn't, couldn't do it without you, so thank you so much. And now we'll uh, sing you the closing number. And uh, as always, we'll give a shout-out to Fruition, and we'll sing you Meet Me on the Mountain. Meet me on the mountain Where the wind keeps blowing our blues away Meet me Meet me on the mountain Before, before we must be on our way It's good to see you, my friend once again Though there never ever seems to be Very much time And there's something I want to say That I can't be with you today Won't you meet me on that mountain In the morning light Meet me Meet me on the mountain where the wind keeps blowing our blues away me, me, meet me on the mountain Before we must be on our way I've been up, I've been down I've been too long in this town now and then I hear that old whistle cry If you're sad, if you love, I'll help you carry your load If you meet me on that mountain way up high Meet me, meet me on the mountain
my way I'm gonna lose these chains and leave this old world behind And don't you worry for me Cause someday we will be Walking that mountain together in the by and by Everybody say so much friends John Magney Mason Town Jordan Ramsey Adrian Kevin and Sean Grant Farm thank you so much friends your, your, your host here Tyler Grant huh? how about it for Tyler Grant <laughs>